morning, guys. I, um, we are starting our new school year on Monday, and I'm kind of on the tail end of my planning and getting things together. And so I pulled together my Civil War unit tonight. Um, it was supposed to be pulled together last year, and we didn't get around to it, but of course I've added to it over the summer and, you know, all that fun stuff. So anyway, now that I have it all together, I thought I would um, give you a little peek through of what I plan on doing, um, what resources I'm going to use, and, and all that good stuff. Um, so I got, this is our first time doing a Moving Beyond the Page uh, literature unit. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm hoping to use more throughout the year. Um, that's why I was trying to use it at the end of last year to make that decision. Didn't make it, that's okay, moving forward. Um, so the unit is called Bull Run and it is based on, it's, it's a literature study. And so it uses a couple of books. First, it introduces this book, which is a picture book by Polacco. So we know it's gonna be good. And then we will be reading through Bull Run. So Bull Run is basically written from, I think it's 12 different um, perspectives, different people during the Civil War. So it comes with this literature unit and this is kind of the teacher guide here and it takes you through, um, there's vocabulary words, um, and then it takes you through each of the units and tells you um, what you should be doing for them. And then the kids have their own books that kind of go along with it. So they'll be doing some mapping. Um, it comes with a lot of, this particular unit talks a lot about primary and secondary sources. So it does come with a lot of primary sources um, so that they can kind of get an idea of what those are. It's got a timeline in it. Um, it's got a cast of characters that we're going to look at. Whoopsies, I put that in upside down. Um, they learn about propaganda. And then um, there's some, look at, I made a mess. I'm gonna go fix this. Good thing I'm showing you now. The kids are gonna be all confused. <laughs> Civil War music. Um, they get to make a character quilt. And then it goes through um, an outline for an argumentative essay. So there's a lot of um, language arts kind of sprinkled in here. There's a whole section that goes through all the different characters. Um, so when they're doing that character study, they can reference it. Um, and that is why when I saw this, I got it because a lot of these will overlap. It's all the different um, Civil War characters. So I thought it would give a real fun reference for them to go through and use that. Um, so in typical fashion though, I love my literature. So two books was not going to cut it. So here is a stack of the books that I have collected. Um, generally when we're doing a unit, I will read between one and three chapter books, depending on the length um, per day that we're covering the unit. We don't cover the units every day. A lot of times we'll do them about two, maybe three times a week. Um, sometimes even if I'm not working in the unit, I'll still read a chapter book that pertains to it just to kind of keep us connected to it as we're going. So um, if you were a kid during the Civil War, Harriet Tubman, this is just an easy reader. So some of these I might have, you know, my daughter read independently um, during some quiet time. Young Fred Frederick Douglass. These are good books. Uh, the, this is a primary source investigation of the Underground Railroad. Um, so again, it's got primary sources. The Last Safe House, the story of the Underground Railroad. And this is actually a pretty long chapter book. It's a uh, picture book. It's a little bit more like a chapter book. And at the end, it's actually got some music and um, some projects and activities. John Brown, One Man Against Slavery. I found this actually at the clearance of the library a long time ago. Uh, from Slave Ship to Freedom Road, Almost to Freedom, Under the Quilt of Night. These are all just small picture books. Um, Sweet Clara and the Freedom Quilt, The Patchwork Path. A lot of them are related to the, the patchwork quilts and the messages that were sent. Um, and if I'm sure you saw in her unit that she's gonna be making her own patchwork quilt. So, um, Hammering for Freedom. Two friends, Susan B. Anthony and Frederick Douglass, and So Tall Within, Sojourner Truths, Long Walk Toward Freedom. 
And then we have our happy little picture books. Um, these ones are kind of fun. If you've never done one of these You Choose books, whoops, sorry. Um, if you've never done one of them, they're kind of neat because they're a chapter book, but because the child is choosing, it's kind of like when, I don't know if you're my age, but when we were younger, we had those um, choose your path books. So same concept, but they have to make their decision um, based on a historic, historical event to determine how things will turn out. But what's so fun is, like I said, it's kind of like a chapter book, but it goes so fast because they're skipping around. You're not reading that many pages all in all. Um, and they like to read it more than once. So of course, repetition is always good. Um, I posted a little bit earlier, I've got three that I'm debating on re doing as a read aloud. So I'm gonna let the kids vote, but um, one of them is Amos Fortune Free Man, The River Between Us, and Brady. I think I'm leaning towards this one, but um, we'll see what you guys think and then we'll see what my kids think and we'll go from there. And then we've got our Who Was books. Um, Harriet Beecher Stowe, Harriet Tubman, What Was the Underground Railroad, and Who Was Abraham Lincoln, and Who Was Frederick Douglass. And I might just let the kids pick one and read it and then I might read one out loud. Um, this one I'm probably leaning towards my daughter reading, Civil War on Sunday. Should be a quick, easy read for her. Uh, Mary Bowser and the Civil War Spy Ring. I thought my son might enjoy this one. It's got some neat stuff in it. It's a little bit interactive. Um, so I thought he would enjoy that. Or he might enjoy this one. Uh, this is, I don't remember his name, Stonewall Hinkleman and the Battle of Bull Run. It's about a boy who has to do a reenactment and um, he ends up actually in the Civil War and having to fight. And then this one I also thought might be one my daughter would be interested in. So again, we don't necessarily read all of these, but I like to give them options. Um, and if they find a topic they enjoy, I like to have more books for them to kind of dig into. Um, but this one is about a dog that actually, um, I think, participates in the Underground Railroad. All right, my last stack of books are the bigger kind of reference books. I have uh, Frederick Douglass for kids, His Life and Times with 21 Activities. I don't know if you've ever used these books. I guess I'm not really in the screen, sorry. If you've ever really used these books, but I really enjoy them. Um, I like that they have information so you can read through them and get a lot of information and then they tie activities into what you're doing. So here it says, make a paste to keep flies away. Um, I haven't read this part, but I'm sure it's probably talking about how they used to keep the flies away. To take off spots of any sort from any kind of cloth. And then here's the materials. Um, making a carpet bag. So um, I'm sure I've mentioned to you guys before, my daughter's super hands-on. So we read through it so that my son gets that portion of it and then we'll break away and my daughter can do something hands-on. Um, this one is Discovering Black America from the Age of Exploration to the 21st Century. And it has, I'm not gonna read the whole book, um, not right now anyhow, but it does have a whole section on the Civil War, the road to the Civil War. And so there's a lot of information in here um, that we'll probably read a little bit out of every day. Talks about a lot of the players, people who were involved, uh, history, newspapers, inventors, Dred Scott. So it covers a pretty good range of information, Emancipation Pro Proclamation. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that one. We'll do probably a little bit every day in that one. This one, um, actually this is just an interesting book. So I thought I would share it. Even though we're only gonna read like two pages out of it, um, I happened to when I was flipping through it. So this came from my mom. Um, it was her mother-in-law's uh, book and she passed away. And she knew, you know, with homeschooling, we collect anything that's educational, useful. Um, so anyway, I took it, of course, and I was flipping through and I happened to find a section about um, Abraham Lincoln. And um, I, th I found it kind of fascinating. So when I was pulling things out, I thought, oh, I got to go grab that book. But then I started flipping through and I just thought, oh, it has such neat stuff. It, it compares like fact and fable, myth and um, truth and, and stuff like that, or things that we've been led to believe that weren't really true. Um, so it's interesting. It talks, you know, everything from origins of man. And the one that I was referring to is actually, I don't know where it is, but it's about um, Lincoln and the, what was it? Mer Mercury that they used to put in their hats that 
kind of coined the term Mad Hatter um, and how he had his fits of rage and they came to think that it was because of the mercury in his top hat. So anyway, I thought that would be fun to read when we're reading about Abraham Lincoln, but there's just a lot of really interesting information in here, all from history. So it's a cool book. I thought I would share it with you guys. And then this is another one that came from my mom. Again, they had like some really nice books um, and it's really heavy. I mean, it's like a full on encyclopedia of everything that happened. But I thought if, you know, again, you know, if I give my son a research paper or something, he wants to go deeper into something in particular, this is going to be a pretty good reference book for him. Or if we want to just look up, you know, something about a particular person or a particular war um, or a battle, I mean, that took place, then we can do that. But I'm seeing Confederate Infantry. I mean, it's just kind of a cool book. So this will be a fun reference book for us. So again, thankful to my mom for this. <laughs> so that is kind of a rough layout of the Civil War for us. We'll see how it goes. So I have one more stack of books I forgot that I had because I have had them from the library since March, since we were going to do this unit study at the end of last year and we never got around to it. And um, because of the way the libraries have been, they just keep extending the due date on these and I was able to keep them so that I got to utilize them. So um, real quick, these are the ones that we will be using that I have from the library, Outrageous Women of Civil War Times. And it's got a whole variety of women in here. Uh, bad news for outlaws. Uh, the remarkable life of Bass Reeves, w deputy U.S. marshal. Um, he was um, enslaved, and then he ended up becoming a marshal in the West. Uh, African American history. Um, this one has a small section that talks about the Civil War and the people involved. Step right up, how Doc and Jim Key taught the world about kindness. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he also was born into slavery and ended up um, becoming free and traveling around. We'll find out when we read it. And then Heart and Soul, the story of America and African Americans. And this book is beautiful. Um, I think it was um, maybe Two Lights Academy if I'm not mistaken, that had this and shared it. And I happened to have it sitting in my um, library bin and hadn't pulled it out because we hadn't gotten that far yet. But I mean, it's a beautiful book. I was flipping because I think towards the beginning is where it hits. Yeah, this is talking about the Civil War. But the illustrations are just beautiful. I skipped over the page that said Civil War, but that was the section about Civil War. So those are the rest of the books that we uh, get to enjoy. Another um, fun project that I pulled out for my daughter um, is, the, these are just uh, PowerPoint slides, but it is an Underground Railroad lap book. Um, if you have never lap booked and you have a hands-on child, this is the way to go. It is the same concept really as notebooking. Uh, however, they take all of the information that would normally go onto like notebooking pages and they put it inside of this. The, that's what this folder is gonna be for. You fold it and then you glue everything inside and then you end up with a really cool looking, I thought I had saved it, but I didn't, um, cool looking lap book. So I've got some, let's see, some teaching aids here. And then um, I'd like to go through and pre-cut simply because, um, not that she couldn't do it, but it just takes a lot longer. And then it kind of drags the project on a little bit. So, um, so that we can focus on the learning aspect. And then she still does all of the, you know, the writing and then she glues everything in herself. Um, but it just kind of speeds things up. color the different territories. Um, these little folders here are supposed to be folded in half and then she can use um, about six of these vocabulary words and define them in there. 
this compass is supposed to be used to write um, how the slaves were able to identify which way north was, 